السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ladies and gentlemen let's continue our music tutorials in this tutorial uh, we're gonna talk about the cliff and the uh, the temple okay so let's get started so treble cliff and bass cliff let's see so the first symbol that appears at the beginning of every music staff is a cliff symbol it is very important because it tells you which note A, B, C, D, E, F, or G is found on each line or space. This is pretty important to write your uh, melody and to play on an, an instrument. For example, a treble cliff symbol tells you that the second line from the bottom, the line that the symbol curls around, is G. On any staff, the notes uh, are always arranged so that the next letter is always on the next a higher line or space. The last note letter G is always followed by another A. So as you can see here, this is treble cliff symbol. So G will be in, in the second line and the E, which means me, sol, la, si, do, Re. Okay, so uh, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do, re. Okay, so here, bass clef symbol tells you that the second line from the top here is the bass clef, so the one bracketed by the symbols dot dots is F. The notes are still arranged in ascending order. But they are all in different places than they were in the triple cliff. So as you can see here, the first will be G. And the E will be here. So of course it's completely different. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, E, T, C, E, T, C. But here G is at the first line. Here G is at the second line. This is Sol. So Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, Re, Re, Mi, and so on. Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, as you can see. So, memorizing the notes in the bass and treble cliff. Simply, one of the first steps in learning to read music in a particular cliff is memorizing where the notes are. Many students prefer to memorize the notes and spaces separately. Here are some of the most popular uh, M nomenics. Mnemonics. 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 Ma ho da? Jdami? Tai, ma ho da mi? Ma mi fa sol la si do re mi. Mnemonics. Mnemonics. Popular mnemonics used. So as you can see here, this is treble, and here is every good boy does fine. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines. Let's see what's gonna happen. Here is treble. Every good boy deserves fine. Or food or anything. For me, I always recognize this by that G will be at the second line. That's it. So, and here is E. So it is 
E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. It's very simple. No need to uh, put any word. And also, uh, here is face. That's it. F, A, C, E. As you can see, F, A, C, E. Okay. So we can see here F A C E and that's it. So every E F G and then A and then B and then C and then D. That's it. So it's up to you. Do what you want. And here is G at the first line, as you know. G B D F A. Good boys do fine always. And here A C E. G all cows eat grass. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, E F G, and here is all cows eat grass. It's grass. Okay. Regress. So first thing we have here, you can use a word or silly sentence to help you memorize which notes belong on the lines or spaces of a clef. If you do not like these ones, you can make up your own. For me, gentlemen, I like I said, the best way here is that this is the treble clef. To know the treble clef, this is the symbol. G at the second line and the E at the first line. So E F G A B C D E F G and so on. So me and here is Sol La C Do Re Mi and so on. Okay, me. Uh, so again, please. Here is Sol La C Do Re Mi. Fa, Sol, La, Si. Sol here, La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, and so on. And here the best clef is Mi, and here is Sol, La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. Okay, that's perfect. Now we're gonna talk about tempo. Tempo, this is a picture from the Arabic tutorial I watched, but let's see the tempo here in English, the musical terminology tempo time in Italian is the speed or pace or of a given piece. In classical music, tempo is typically indicated with an, inst an instruction at the start of a piece. So here is electronic Metronoma, uh, so this is the uh, Whitner model, okay, and you can check out all this, all this information, but what I need now is this, here is the speed that affects the melody, so we have here many things. So very very slow, 24 pbm and under, slowest, and then also we have here uh, a dag you, and also we have many things you can know the speed. Okay, so let's practice this. Because we cannot do it without practicing. Per minute. So this is per minute. Per minute.
I need here, uh, like I said, I need four from this note. Okay, this is the quarter note, four of the quarter note uh, here only. So uh, here, let's listen to it. So this is the default speed in this software. It is 120. So let's see the tempo. What if I need lower speed? Tempo text. Okay. I need this quarter note to be uh, listened or to be played 80 time per minute. Okay, let's so now this is the quarter note. Okay, it is 80 time per minute. Let's see what's gonna happen. As you can see, or as we heard, it is slower. So let's make it 100. So this is faster. This is faster. What about what about 120? This is the default. This is the original. So what if we make it 150? Wow. Why this means that when this increases, okay, you tell the software that we need to listen to this quarter note. 150 times per minute so of course it will be uh, done faster so let's see here is the grave so gravity I'm not sure really uh, it, it, uh, Italian I'm not sure about it yeah Grave. Yeah, grave. Yes, grave. Okay, Ma okay. It's twenty-five to forty-five. So let's see what's gonna happen if we use grave here. Let's see and just delete this. Oh my God. So slow. <laughs> oh, man, this is terrible. So let's see Largo. Largo means that 25 to 40, uh, no, 40 to 60, so it will be a little faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is faster. Okay, this is Largo. So what if we use Andretto? <laughs> I like Italian. 
moderato. Dorato. Ok. Sì, sì. Sì, signor. Here is moderato. Awesome. So moderato here, uh, as you can see, is to up to 120. Like I said, this was the default and this is really the exact uh, thing that we did. So here, if I cancel moderato and I got this here and I put it 120, we're going to listen to the moderato. Awesome. So what if we use presto, presto. Presto. Yeah, presto. So presto, here is 200, oh my god. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, if you cancel presto and put uh, 200, Wow, so as you can see, you can use this, uh, you, see, you can save this in your mind or you know uh, the range. And here is this, I'm not sure if it, if it exists or not. No, but if we use uh, over 200, let's make it 300. <laughs> really this is very awesome okay so let's uh, see some change string violin I adore violin okay <laughs> Okay, and here is 80, oh my god, so gentlemen, as you can see, the speed or the tempo really, really affects the tune or the mood or the, uh, the mood of the song as you can see the tragic uh, situations needs or uh, situations need uh, slow speed and if you make enthusiastic uh, song or enthusiastic situation we need uh, faster and faster that's why it really is very important to know these things uh, 80 means that we will listen to this note 80 times per minute, okay? And now you can know uh, how many uh, bars, okay? Let's see what we took previous. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, uh, how many measures, how many measures we need to make uh, the full melody okay or the complete melody based on these calculations 
So uh, let's. Marlene. And the swimming here, Eddie. Yeah. And hundred and fifty. So really, this is uh, very good. Let's see. Uh, this is the organ and finger snap. So this is one of the things that we can make here. Let's make it 50. So it's very slow and where is the electrical guitar, electric guitar? Sorry. Okay, really, this kills me, and <laughs> let's make it uh, 100 and 250, and this is the last thing we can do here. So really, I like uh, the fast music because I like enthusiastic uh, melodies. So uh, to this point, we have just finished our second tutorial. I wish you learned something today. Please read if you wanna. Uh, guess mm, much information, more information about this as you can learn and see the book we used the book yeah for the book in here, music theory yeah, basic music theory, please you can get it you can download it free and please install this awesome software okay so let's uh, finish this video thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial thank you very much